I'm just going to talk about this setup real quick. This is to test gears and I'm trying to find the highest speed possible. So I have 8400 here, theoretical quarter million. I'm looking for the best material gear profile and lubricate medium. This test is basically just making sure that my plastic cover fits properly, which it actually doesn't. These gears um, are actually flush with the cover and the fluid creates some friction. So I've shaved a little bit off. And just for this test, we're just going to see how high we can go before they break. And then on the next few tests, I'm going to revise these gears. And I'm currently just using water because it's easy to clean up. But I will be testing all different things like oils and that kind of thing. So here it is. So you saw in that video it took a bit too much power and I blew the bridge rectifier. So I've doubled two up. Uh, I keep meaning to pick a bigger one up, but I keep forgetting. But it's made me realize that I shouldn't be on the limit of this whole setup because I really don't want to damage the variac. So ultimately I'm just going to reduce the width of the gears, reduce the contact area. Um, we're testing between gears, not how big the gears can go. So I want to make sure that whatever oil I use and gears, the setup's not going to be overloaded. So I'm just going to blow these rectifiers anyway because um, I don't really need them. And I'm just going to run this test again and see what speed we can get. This voltmeter represents the input RPM. So 90 volt on here will be 5200 RPM. And then that's multiplied nearly 30 times. Um, the gears look really good still, but they take quite a lot of torque to spin. And that's just because I've got a lot of water in there. So, here we go again.
So it actually smells of like burning plastic, burning like an oily smell. Um, so these three gears still spinning. You can see there's a tooth missing there. There's quite a few teeth missing on these. So I'm gonna pull the gears off, just see what they look like. So all the teeth are smashed off this. But it's interesting to see that there's actually some teeth. It's, they didn't melt this time, it was actually just power that broke them. And this has got quite a few teeth missing. And all the teeth missing on there. So these three were still spinning till the very end. Not many issues. So this one broke quite a few teeth off there. But only half a tooth here. And I actually shaved, I actually cut like two and a half mil off this with a hacksaw and then laid this one down about a millimeter because there was fluid between these and the case. That was causing a lot of friction. But these gears are actually breaking instead of melting which is kind of what I'm looking for. Of course water's not the best. It cools them but it doesn't really have any lubricating properties. This gear's only got one tooth missing. The gear looks actually really, really good. Really good. And then the main drive gear has got only one tooth missing. And these actually look really, really good. Like, almost like they've not even been run. And this had quite a lot of torque through it. That's like nearly three horsepower of power through there at probably 1500 RPM. So I'll work what that torque is later, but they're actually quite substantial, these gears. But anyway, I'm gonna revise the profile a little bit. These ones I'm gonna keep the same kind of width, but these I'm gonna reduce just so there's less contact area and I don't work my system as hard. Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot of teeth in there and a little bit of melted plastic so hope you enjoyed make sure you subscribe I'm in the process of moving on my workshop so I'm not sure when I'll be able to post next but see you next time Thank you.